Time now for Chef Judy at the Ioni Raw Food Cafe on Fruitville Road. Welcome to Ioni's Raw Cafe. I met Ioni several years ago at a health fair and her food was so clean and delicious artful, flavorful, and then I found out it's all raw. I can't begin to tell you how much I love coming here. Now this is a whole space that involves, you could book massages and different treatments, but you're definitely gonna wanna put this on your radar to come to lunch or buy things to go home. It's fresh, there's beautiful salads. You won't believe what their version of a raw lasagna is. Delicious juices, and we're all trying to be healthy, right? But I never realized that being raw could be this delicious and this good for you. So stay with me throughout the hour as we come to you from Ioni's Raw Cafe right here on Fruitville and 41. I'll be back in just a few minutes. One of my favorite people in town, Ioni. I'm so glad to see you. I met you years ago through the folks at 20 Minutes to mm -hmm. Fitness, where mm -hmm. I work out. Right. And you have this beautiful space. I want you to tell our viewers how long you've been here and what brought you to create this raw, delicious cafe. Oh, well, welcome, Judy. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Um, this, we've actually been in business now about 18 years altogether as a holistic <laughs> wellness center. And our mission and passion for all that time has actually always been to educate and empower our community to adapt a healthier and healthier lifestyle. And to that end, it's been an absolute pleasure. The, the therapists and therapies we've attracted here, massage, rolfing, um, yoga, um, acupuncture, and so on. But my most favorite part of this whole endeavor is the food we do because I believe food, nutritious, delicious food is fundamental to health. So that is, we, um, about five years, five, six years ago, my sister passed away and she encouraged me to do this because when I fed her this way, she felt so much better. What you were wishing that she'd gotten started earlier. Right. So I made her a promise. And so that's why, that's how I'm here. And what was your sister's name? Rachel. Well, Rachel, I know she's looking from above yeah. and she's so proud of you. When did you adapt to eating raw? And do you stay raw full time? Yes, actually it's been a gradual process since I've been mm -hmm. 16. I've healthier and healthier and healthier and vegetarian and then you know I went to vegan mm -hmm. and I started actually I became a hundred percent raw when I started the cafe I you know I've been on that path I've been on that path for about 10 years but I became a hundred percent raw because I'm surrounded by it it's mm -hmm. easier to to keep the lifestyle going well just looking at the beautiful cuisine and the balance of it when you sit down in the music mm -hmm. you immediately tend to calm down right and feel refreshed yes. and that's a part of what we want for the cafe too not necessarily a hip like noisy right it's sort of to revere one's food and to drop down just like you say that's why the music is what it is and really taste what you're tasting. And it's we're about to taste. So that oh. is a thoughtful expression of how you told us about your humble beginnings. And we're coming back in a few minutes to talk about the delicious raw cuisine right in front of me. We're going to hear a lot more from Ioni now because this table is amazing and half the dishes you would not expect that they are raw. Mm, I, I agree. And that's a part of what we wanted to do. We wanted to introduce people to to raw food, but in an exciting way, a, a beautiful way. Everybody thinks that raw food is just a salad mm -hmm. or carrots and celery, right. you know, so we just wanted to create a little bit more excitement. So let's start in mm -hmm. and tell us about these dishes. This is one of our top sellers. I think it's been one of our top sellers for, actually everything's one of our top sellers. <laughs> um, the taco salad, mm -hmm. and we uh, make romaine and the salsa and the taco meat is actually Brazil nuts and macadamia mm. nuts. It's the herbs and spices that make it what it is. It's, it's like beautiful. We sell so many of these blue corn chips. Everything here is raw. And, and over here? The kelp pesto, which mm. is made with kelp, which is seaweed, made to mimic sort of pasta or rice noodles. And it's marinated with a, p a pistachio, um, kale, 
um, arugula um, pesto. You're singing my song. <laughs> Tell me about this. Oh my gosh, this is another house favorite. Everybody just flies off the shelf and it's called a Martin. And our, our chef, he kind of came up with it and so we named it after him. Well and it's it. onion bread, onion bread wow. that to make the, the bread on the outside filled with um, cheeses and sprouts and you know, it's just yes, yes, and yeah. a great idea for a wrap. And not yes, um, that we call our garden wrap. In there, there's marinated vegetables, avocados. The the wrap itself is a collard leaf, and what else? Mm, pesto, mm. tomato pesto. It's just, it's a real sandwich. It's it really, it really is. Old men eat that. Now this is a special surprise. I remember the first time I came in and really? tried it with you. Mm -hmm. You, that's our version of the pizza because so many people miss those home kind of comforty right. foods. You know, the crust, everything is raw again. The crust is made out of buckwheat, which is a seed, not mm -hmm. a, a wheat, so it's gluten free. And the cheese is up macadamia nuts, and then you know there's julienne um, um, basil on mm. top of that. It's yeah. My husband's favorite. And next to it, another oh, version. Oh, I love. I gosh. love when you go. Oh. <laughs> that's the. Um, where am I? That's a Greek pizza. Uh, the same cheese, um, cheese and crust, but topped with marinated kale and spinach, mm. and so mm -hmm. so delicious. And mm -hmm. smoothies and juices and all natural. But go nowhere. I'm gonna have a little bite, and then we're coming back for a sweet treat at the end. And how about some delicious homemade dessert? Oh, goodness. Me, personally, not a sweet tooth person, except raw ah. vegan, raw vegan dessert. So this is a cheesecake, blueberry, topped with strawberries, mm. totally dairy-free. Our creme, we did a take on a creme brulee, and uh, somebody from Germany loved it so much, they said, you should call it creme de vine. So we renamed it the creme de vine. And Kathy, my most wonderful chef, she's, we, so we call all these Kathy's cookies. Everything, again, is no sugar, no processed sugars, no baking, completely vegan. And it's raw. so important for people that have epilepsy, mm -hmm. diabetes, exactly. lactose intolerance, mm -hmm. and this last baby. Oh gosh, save the best till last. That's our chocolate orange cheesecake. Another thing that just leaps off the shelves. I like that. <laughs> and I think I will toast to you, Ioni, with Cheers. a strawberry smoothie. <laughs> It has been a refreshing and delicious day. And trust me, all you carnivores out there, you need to come in and try raw. It's gonna be a delicious experience. Ione, you're the best. Oh, thank, well, thank you. you thank Have you. a great weekend and a healthy weekend, everybody.